Yes guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video. I've got a little bit of a different one for you today. As you can see by the title, um, I'm going to create a chipping green uh, in my garden because uh, why not? It's a nice day. Um, the grass doesn't really get used for anything else, so uh, we'll see what we can do. But I will quickly get the lawnmower up round and I'll show you what I have done to prepare. See you in a second. Okay, so I'm on the bit of grass which I am planning to put this putting, well, chipping green on, I should say. Um, like I said, it's not um, a brilliant bit of ground to do it on. That's why it's not going to be a putting green. That's why I've chosen to do a chipping green. Um, less work. I don't have to make it smooth. Don't have to make it flat um, with the bumps. Um, makes the chipping a little bit trickier, which is better for practice, I would say. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you what I've done the past couple of weeks to prepare for today. So as you can see, I've just put it in the wide angle mode. The lawnmower is there. So as you can see, we've got this white line um, going around and it's very faint at the moment because it's been raining and it's sort of watered away. But I've literally just gone to B&Q and grabbed some line marking paint like this and shaking it and just gone around the edges as you can see there. Then what I've done is a couple of weeks ago, I put some feed and weed uh, on the grass and watered it every day for a little bit, unless it obviously was raining. So I got myself a little cheap sprinkler off Amazon, uh, connected the hose to it from around the, cook, around the side and would leave it to um, water it and hopefully let it grow. And as you can see, um, the outside especially is very long, um, quite thick as you can see. Um, and I've just given it a cut about a week ago now um, on the actual um, chipping green part. So that's all I've done at the moment for the preparation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my camera up on the tripod and we're going to have a nice little time lapse. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it, um, the outside first on quite high cut because I leave it quite high because I like it sort of like rough. Um, and then I'll check back in with you. This will be before and after. Um, and then I'll do the actual main uh, part of the chipping green. See you in a second. Okay, and here we are. So the edge of the green is cut. I'm gonna flip the camera and show you now. So here we are. It is still quite a good height, as you can hopefully see from that. Um, obviously it's a similar height to what this is at the moment, but I have not cut this yet. Um, so I'm gonna quickly set it back up again. Um, so on that one, I'll show you quickly actually is I left it, I don't know if these are millimetres or what measurements, but you can hopefully see when it focuses, it's free from the top. So it's still cutting a bit off it, but not leaving it really long, but not leaving it really short. And then for the cut, I'm gonna not put it right to the bottom, but I'm gonna leave it one off. So it's nice and short, but hopefully, cause it's a bit uneven, it's not gonna take all, um, not gonna hit the ground too much and make it all muddy. Um, and all scratchy, I suppose. Right, I'll see you in, um, well, you'll see me in one second on the time-lapse, but I'll catch you in about five minutes when I've cut this. And here we go then, so you've just seen me there. Uh, on the time lapse going over i've gone over it a couple of times just because um and i've gone tried to go over it a different way that i went the first time um which allows to miss any blade that sort of um go in a different direction but as you can see this is why i don't cut it on the lowest um because if there's any ant hills like this um it just scrapes and as you can see there's absolutely no grass left there it just takes up all the dirt but as you can see for the majority of it definitely no, nowhere near a putting green but for a chipping green if I come up the sun here you can see a bit longer here um, which is a bit longer than a fringe it's sort of it's almost like fairway to be honest with you um, and then this is like a, a nice low cuts the ball will still roll um, but not as fast as it would on a normal putting green so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it for half an hour let it all sort of rest um, and then I'm gonna come back on here, grab some balls, my 60 degree wedge, and we're gonna do some shipping. And I'm gonna show you how and where I do that in my garden. Okay, see you in two seconds. 
Okay, so it's been about half an hour and I've left the putting green just to set um, for a while. Um, and now um, I'm gonna show you um, some chipping, because why not? So I've got my 60 degree and loads of balls, second, just crappy second hand balls um, to chip with. And then you're probably wondering, James, you haven't got a target to aim at. Well, this is where, when you're an angry golf, angry golfer, angry golfer, it comes in handy. So I've got an old driver shaft. It's an old ping shaft. So all I do is come over here and I find a spot that I like. And I'm going to be chipping from where the tripod is. So, you know, let's go sort of back, back right, slot it in the ground. Boom. There we go. We've got a little target almost like a flag stick to aim at um, so i'll see you in two seconds and we'll have a little montage of some chips There you have it that is my shipping green all done and finished so each week all i do is i come on here give it a mow over on those settings that i showed you earlier on in the video uh keep it this length as you can see it doesn't run out too much so but you still know whether you've hit a good chip or not you can tell i've got one that's landed right back here i know that's not such a good chip but the ones that are finished in there i know that in a real game they're just a nice little tap and i know they're good chips and um, if you'd like to see updates on this let me know. If not, um, I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoy these sorts of videos, uh, this sort of content, or you'd like to see more um, in-action course vlogs, me on the golf course. Let me know. See you in the next one.